Welcome into the recap of the Cubs 6 4 victory over the Detroit Tigers at Comerica Park in Detroit, Michigan, Wednesday afternoon. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Justin Fields drives. Folks, that game was too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. And I did not agree with the decision making of manager David Ross in what almost was the fateful sixth inning if the Cubs didn't win this ball game. But let's get it started. Second inning, it's a 0-0 game. It's Jamison Tyone on the hill. And guess what? Tarek Skubal is very good, the lefty for the Tigers. He rolls through the Cubs in the first, but in the second, Seiya Suzuki with a double. With two outs, Jamer Candelario delivers another double, one nothing Cubs. We go to the next inning. In the third, Cody Bellinger up with two outs. He comes up with a big hit, a big spot, drives home two. It's a 3 nothing Cubs lead. Nick Madrigal in the fourth, he delivers to drive in a run. It's a 4 nothing Cubs lead. And Tyone is rolling, has not given up a hit through five. We go to the sixth, no hitter gone, base hit, another base hit. All of a sudden, the bases are loaded. He's almost able to wiggle out of trouble. He gets two outs. And then there's a lefty coming up by the name of Kerry Carpenter. This young kid is a beast. Really good player. Really good. And before the at-bat, I said to a friend of mine I was with, you got to take him out right now. He's out of gas. You can tell he's out of gas. It's hot. It's a day game. It's August. You got all you're going to get out of this guy. Do not let him face the left-handed hitting Kerry Carpenter. David Ross decides to try and press his luck. One more hitter. Bam! Out of here. Grand slam to right field. Ball game tied. I was so mad to absolutely live it that he would allow him to face that left-handed hitter. Righty, righty. I probably still wouldn't have done it, but you can't allow him to face the lefty. Fastball, dead red right here. Boom! See you later. Thanks for coming. But the Cubs come back. This team has great character. Eighth inning. Jan Gomes delivers a big hit. He's throwing out trying to stretch it into a double, but... Cubs have a 5-4 lead. Julian Merriweather, an inning and a third of three strikeout, no run baseball. He was excellent. They used Rucker in this ball game. And then in the ninth, Nico Horner gets a sack fly. Cubs have a 6-4 lead. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Look, Advert Alzali has converted every save but one this year, but he scares me. He scares me. He's never pitched in high leverage like this. Gets the first hitter. That is our Feltko play of the game. It's a soft sinking liner and Jamer Candelario makes a really nice play on it or the leadoff man is on. Really good defensive play. Get him re-signed in the offseason, please. He likes it in Chicago. His closest friends are in Chicago. Please get him re-signed, Jed Hoyer. He belongs on this team. Uh, anyway, he then walks the next hitter on four pitches, not even close. Now he's got two men on and he's able to wriggle off the hook. He's able to get a strikeout, and he is able to end the ball game. The Cubs win in a big, big game. They had to have this one. Again, Alzali has never pitched in high leverage. He was a starter. He dealt with injuries, and now we're asking to close in August in pennant race baseball. You're trying to win a division, trying to get to the postseason. Cubs win 6-4. Please take Tyone out the next time. Have a great rest of your night. Back at it again tomorrow. Cubs at Pirates for four. Take that.